afternoon, quilters. Welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thank you so much for joining us today. My good friend Christine is in the house. How are you, my friend? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. good. Did you enjoy your vacation? We, I did. We, Raina had a great time. I, obviously, we cannot have an alligator die because I didn't get eaten by an alligator. Um, nor a shark. It was all good. Good job. Yeah, it was great. It was 78 in Miami. It oh, was wow. beautiful. Yeah, good. there's a beach there. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. All right, so if you're looking at Christine, behind her mm -hmm. is this great quilt called Plus Points. It's made with the six inch cube, which is the cube we're gonna be showcasing today. Yes, we'll have the pattern in the comments. Yeah, it's beautiful. And the great thing about this, Christine, is it makes a 15 inch block. Oh, okay. Because, you know, we talk about um, how you can use your cubes to make different size blocks. So, plus points. All right, did you love those photos in our intro video? They're so fun. Don't forget, you can share your finished projects with us and we're gonna showcase them on AccuQuilt Live. And Christina Wright, they can just share them right to our Facebook page. Yeah, you can send us a private message, you can post them on our feed, you can share it just about anywhere. Yeah, just add it, we'll love it. Okay, so where are people watching from today? Suzette is watching from Bishop, California, and Louise is watching from Williamsburg, Massachusetts. Oh, I love that. Hey, thank you to all of you who live in Miami. It was a great weekend. It was lovely to be there. Um, here's what I learned. Christine, I think okay. I told you this. Mm -hmm. 1.5 million alligators That's so live in many. Florida. That is three times the population <laughs> of Omaha. Oh, in that's just terrifying. alligators. Oh, that is so <laughs> many. So I want you to know that every time we went by a water feature, I thought, oh, there are gators in there. Yep. They yeah. probably were, probably a lot of them. Yeah. Anyway, we had a great time in Miami. Okay, so here's the photo of the day. Um, this is a great casserole dish because we're making a casserole cozy. Um, it is called twice baked potato casserole. And it is a staple at our house. It's, it's a cheat, okay, you ready? <laughs> All you need are frozen shredded hash browns. And you let them thaw till they're just a pile. And then you add cream of chicken soup and um, uh, sour cream and cheese and bacon and you bake it and everybody in the house eats it. There we go. That sounds delightful. Yeah, it's delicious. Okay, twice baked potato casserole. Mm. Christina, what's your go-to casserole? Um, I usually do, it's like a chicken and biscuit casserole. Okay, I'm so intrigued by this. Yes, you chop up the biscuits, just like the can of biscuits. Yes. And, um, baked chicken and then like sour cream, French onion soup, stuff like that. And then French fried onions on top. It's, it's delicious. so cheesy and creamy and... Okay, so the question of the day is, what is your go-to hot dish or casserole? Now here, I thought here in Nebraska, everybody called casseroles hot dish, that is not true. Mm -hmm. Everybody in Nebraska calls them casseroles. Um, in the northern part, like Minnesota, you call them hot dish. So in the co comment section, tell us, okay, if you wanna share your recipe, go for it. Okay, because that's what we're making today is our casserole cozy. Now we have a few photos um, from our viewers that sent in their finished projects. First, we have this super cute project. Okay, I love this, Joyce H. It's fish, isn't that darling? They're so cute. Isn't that fun? It's and so Christina, what dye did she use to make those fish? A trapezoid, you told trapezoid me. Trapezoid in the companion set, angles. <laughs> and I love the fact that she made like fishing lines and worms. It's so cute. It's super cute, Joyce, good job. I hope you live in Minnesota where there are 10,000 lakes. Next, we have a project from Lou. Okay, Lou S did this. Lou cut, I don't know, a bazillion squares. And you all know how to do that, right? We've talked about how you take the strip die, cut the strips, turn them at 90 degrees, cut squares for days. Okay, and here's the next one she did. Lou did this flying geese for days. Christina, what two shapes do you need for flying geese? Oh, four and five. There you go. There we go. <laughs> four and five, so <laughs> flying geese for days. Good job, Lou. Unless we have Tammy O. Okay, I love this, because it's next to Halloween, Valentine's Day, my all-time favorite holiday. And this, so doesn't this look like a box of chocolates? It does, it's so pretty. And I'm hoping Tammy's sending it to me. I don't think she is, but it's cute. <laughs> All right, so don't forget to share your finished projects. We'd love to show them off. Okay, listen, your AccuQuilt Live family, we're so glad that you're here. I came back from vacation just to be here today. Though the lovely Erica is in the house, and this is a secret, so I'm gonna tell you. 
She is testing new dyes. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know what they are? I do. I know. I do too. <laughs> and when I'm done with our show today, I'm going to go test some new dyes. Hmm. Just to think about. So for our AccuQuilt Live family, we're giving you 25% off Go Cutters, mm -hmm. Go Dyes, and Cubes. You're going to use that code SCRAPPY25. And Christina, how much is our Go Big with go that 25% off? $450. That is so That's great. It. And our Ready, Set, Go? Is $375. Today's the day. If you've been on the fence thinking, I want a cutter, yes. today's the day, 25% off. Okay? So that's our promo today, Scrappy 25. All right, today one lucky viewer is going to receive our Go Cube 6-inch Mix and Match box. I love to give away cubes. <laughs> um, for your chance to win, you need to share our video on your personal Facebook page. And, okay, Leslie will choose the winner, Christina will read the winner, and I will clap at the end of the show. Hey, speaking of clapping, we have some new folk joining our AccuQuilt live team today. First of all, offsite, we have Morgan. And what is Morgan's title? She is our new social media set, or social media manager. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And so, huge shout out to Morgan. We're glad she's here. And in the studio, I know, we should clap. In the studio today, we have Joe, and he is our producer for our new AccuQuilt live shows. Hey, smile, because we'll show you on the camera. <laughs> Welcome, Joe. He didn't have a key card to get in the building, but we let him in anyway. So it's all good. <laughs> all right. Now, let's talk about this casserole cozy. All right. Oh, I'm going to move my phone. <gasps> Green chili chicken enchiladas. Right. I cannot watch this. I saw that one too. I was just going to say, smoke. we always ask people about food. And I then, know. We do. We miss lunch for this. Listen, we sew, we eat. It's all good. Okay. So I have stuff today and my pin cushion because lovely Erica's here. Okay. This is our bowl, our casserole cozy. All right, and look, it has football fabric in it. Yes. Football so fabric on the outside, okay? So this is a free pattern available at AccuQuilt.com, and also in the link we'll give you the Go Quilt yes. version of it if you want to change the top, okay? And um, so this is perfect for like Super Bowl Sunday, which is coming up pretty soon. Okay, listen, I'm going to make so many enemies right now, and I don't care. Go Buffalo Bills. Because Harrison Phillips is a homegrown Omaha boy, and he <laughs> plays for the Buffalo Bills. He's 99. So go Harrison and the Bills. Okay. I can say that because the Seahawks aren't playing. Otherwise, my family would disown me. Okay, so I've already made the bottom. We're not going to talk about the bottom, but what you want to do is download the pattern, read all the instructions, okay, before you start. So we're going to make the top of our bowl, or of our casserole cozy. So look at how cute this is. Okay, so we're going to make the football parts. We're going to use the die to make the football parts. And then um, this is just fabric. You can do whatever fabric you want, mm -hmm. all right? There is no dye police. Do you have a favorite football team, Christina? Not really. I don't really have a pro team. You just vote for the Huskers? Yeah, I generally cheer for the Chiefs just because they're the localist that we have. Okay, you have to cheer for the Buffalo Bills now. It's well, the rule. Okay. Well, I don't know, Pam. I know. I might get disowned. <laughs> oh, yes, this is true. <laughs> My dad is a big Chiefs fan, and he's watching, so. Oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. She can vote for them. Okay, so this is the cover that I'm going to make um, that I've already started. Notice it has Husker football on it. Go Huskers. Okay, so you could use whatever fabric you wanted. Um, for your team. Okay, and you could make like baseball fabric and you know all of those kind of things. So today I'm going to show you how to make these three little footballs and sew this section together. Okay? Here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this shape. And Christina, do you know what shape this is our footballs are made out of? Oh, I don't. Oh, the signature. S signature block. Good call. Good save there on the fourth down. <laughs> Oh, I wish I knew football terms. <laughs> I'd be using them all day, okay? All right, but I do know fourth down. Steve Navi, our CEO, he, all analogies, right, yes, Christina, are football one. analogies. Okay, we're a football <laughs> team. We're trying to move five yards. I just shake my head like I know what he's talking about. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make our signature block. So this is um, shape number 10 from the cube. So let's talk about the cubes real quick. Um, before we get started, because some of you might have a cube and thinking, what is in a cube, or you don't know what's in a cube, okay? So the first thing, this is our six-inch cube. 
They come in five sizes. They're on sale today, 25% off. The code is Scrappy25. Six inch cube, eight, nine, 10, and 12 inch cubes, okay? Pull the skinny one first so you don't break a nail. All right, so inside are eight geometric shapes. The shapes are the same in every cube. They're just different sizes, okay? So let's open it up and see. This is so slick. So if you have the eight inch cube, you're gonna open it up and it's gonna look like this, okay? Or the nine or the 10 or the 12. So each die is numbered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll notice five is missing. It is not a mistake. We got our act together today. <laughs> this is one that we're gonna use, okay? Each die is numbered, each pocket is numbered. So one, two, three, four, and so forth, okay? So see, one is a square. This is so when you're done, you can put them back where they belong. I know it's a concept, okay? <laughs> if In only we all rooms. actually did that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want you to know, okay, I shouldn't tell you this, but I'm going to. Um, my sewing room is such a mess, and I, it really is. And I have pulled out so many cubes and not put them back. Oh no. I know, so not, and then I went on vacation. So now I've <laughs> gotta go home and read and figure out which shape they are from which cube. Because I have like shapes in the eight and the six mm -hmm. and the nine, yeah, it's a mess. Okay, but put them back, all right? And then all of our geometric shapes, so there are eight geometric shapes. Um, here, I'll show you this one, we'll show it in just a second. Have that quarter inch seam allowance built in, all right? So if you're looking for a five inch square, I'm gonna say, ooh, are you gonna cut a five inch square? You want a five inch finish square. Those are two different dies, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, so we're gonna put this back and we're gonna use, um, oh here, I'll talk about what's in the skinny one. So in the skinny one, you should always pull it so you don't break a nail. It has a little training DVD, oh, and a cutting mat. I'm swapping it out for the one that's in here. <laughs> okay, this one is not very pretty, that one is, okay? Sneaky. So it has a DVD. Christina, what if you don't have a DVD player? Where can you watch the instructions? Um, on our YouTube page. On our YouTube page, yep. okay? So watch the video, it talks about the cube, how it all works together. It comes with a cutting mat, because Christina, what happens if you try to use a die without a mat? Not a darn thing. Not a darn thing, and then a pattern book, okay? Free patterns on our website, acuquilt.com, hundreds of free patterns for your cubes, okay? So this is our um, cube, uh, six inch cube, and then we're gonna use our companion set corners, um, which has this shape. It is signature block. So let's cut some of these. This is gonna make our football shape. So what you wanna do, quilters, is you wanna measure from here to here, okay? Just wanna measure from the side of the shape, it's three and a half inches, add a quarter of an inch on either side, and just rough cut a strip of fabric with the fabric, okay? Because then you can just fan fold it. And, Kudos to Mason, he helped pick out the football fabric today. <laughs> I was gonna use something else and he goes, what's that for? And I said, football, so he goes, that's not the right fabric. I said, okay. Okay. I, I, I listen to Mason sometimes, <laughs> okay? All right, Christina, why I'm, okay, now wait. I'm fan folding. When I, we talk about fan folding, we're going back and forth across the shape, okay? You can cut six layers of cotton with your die, but I, how many footballs do I need today, quilters? Three, so I only have three layers. See this tail, don't worry about this tail. Do you know why? There are only blades in the die. So right here, this two-tone foam, that shows you where the blades are. I can push right here and feel that blade, run my hand over it, it's gonna be safe, okay? So I only need three layers. There's no blades inside my cutter. I'm using my Go Big today, but you could use any of our cutters because they're six inch dies. I'm gonna put my mat on and run it through the cutter. Okay, Christina, what are people making in their casseroles? I'm so excited. Okay, Jeannie makes a Runza casserole. Oh, if you live here in Nebraska, you know what that is. <laughs> um, let's see, Linda says she does the broccoli, rice, and cheese casserole. That's good. Um, let's see, TJ says twice-baked cauliflower with chicken casserole. Oh. Rhonda makes a deconstructed cheeseburger casserole. Oh my goodness. Yep. We're having lunch after the event Carmen makes type. A Chicken bacon ranch. 
one. Okay. And that sounds delightful. Post those, post those um, <laughs> recipes on our Facebook page. I want to hear. Oh, that sounds so good. Okay. So it's run through the cutter. Static is built up. So I'm going to give my mat a little bit of love and slide that mat don't lift. And now I'm going to pull back and ta-da. I've made my little footballs. Okay. So now to make a square, I'm going to add shapes here on the other side. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So the shape that I'm going to add to the other side, Christina, do you know what it is? I don't. Half square triangles, oh, okay. shape number five, my all time favorite shape. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did before. I'm going to measure how wide it is. It's like four and three quarter inches. So I'm just going to make it like five and some. And I need, there are four on the die board. Okay. So I really only need one layer of fabric, but I'm going to show you how to fan fold. Because I like, I like them. Okay. So look, oh, here we go. And sorry, I'm going to do this. Look, see, I didn't measure right, so it's okay. This <laughs> is my scrap. This is what I used for my other one. So I'm just going to go back and forth. I'm going to show you how this only cuts where there's fabric and a mat. So if I just wanted to cut half square triangles on this side, put this here. All right. Don't forget to share. We're giving away our six inch cube today. I'm excited. Okay, give it some love. Slide don't lift. And now see, look, I've just cut half square triangles. I just love it. So think about how long it would take you to cut those half square triangles. First of all, these are tiny little half square triangles. They're so small. <laughs> okay, so we just did a whole little width of fabric and cut our six. All right, so sh we should sew. We should sew here for a second. All right, now, um, I have my go big, so I actually could have put my fabric on at the same time and ran them through. Mm -hmm. I know, I think about that often. All right. All right, so here we go, and I'm going to lay these out on my mat so you can see them better. Oh, we've got a good question from Deb. Hi, Deb. She says, would the 8-inch cube be too big to use for this? No, because Deb, look. This is our block. And then we add a one inch strip on either side. So no, you could totally, totally do that. Okay? Right there, Chelsea. Yep. So you could make your squares bigger and then just eliminate the little one inch strips. Mm -hmm. Or you could totally just make footballs all over the top. You could. Just okay. have a bunch of them. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you how to make footballs. Now, I want you to know that the width of the rickrack was a very hot topic <laughs> at the Heller dinner house, dinner table the other night. Um, I'm going to press this out a second here. Um, because the one on the cover here, oh, dang, hold on. <laughs> it's live TV. Live, you don't get this at home. Well, actually, you are home and you do get it here. Okay, so see, look how wide these are. Mason thought they were too wide. What do you think, Christina? I don't know. See, it was a whole big discussion. So um, I'm going to show you. I think it looks nice. I, I just got thinner rickrack. I don't know. We should ask Harrison Phillips what he thinks. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're just going to, you want to add the rickrack before you add the half square triangles. Because look at this, quilters. The half square triangles go right here. Okay, so you have to add the rickrack first. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut some little pieces of rickrack. Okay, while I'm doing this, Christina, tell us what casseroles people are making. Oh gosh, I'm seeing baked ziti, white chicken enchilada, tater tot casserole. Okay, so I did a little research while I was on an airplane okay. about casseroles. <laughs> okay, the top five. Um, number five is like. Um, Hamburger noodle casserole. Okay. So hamburger noodles, spaghetti sauce, cheese. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. I mean, did you not eat that as a kid? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I ate that as a kid. I bet green bean casserole's on that list. Green bean casserole wasn't on oh, that list, but okay. it was the number one casserole for Thanksgiving. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, we um, have a question from Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. She says she has the 12-inch cube and companion. Could she make it using that size but only make like one or two footballs? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. I think it's one of those you could definitely customize to make it a little bit more towards whatever you have. Oh, absolutely. And that's the great thing, right, <laughs> is that there's no die police. Nobody's coming to your house, checking to see what size shapes you're going to make, what size footballs. Okay, you'll notice I'm just cutting these. I'm only going to sew a couple of them because I want to show you how to put the whole thing together, okay? So look at this, totally eyeballing it, okay? Oh, right, wore the right shoes so I can take my <laughs> shoes off. All right, so we're going to sew. Don't forget to share. i got to move my mat. Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay. Mary says that apple pie filling and two cans of cinnamon rolls is her casserole. Oh, that sounds delightful. man, that was worth coming to work for. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my Rick Rack. Rick Rack Patty Whack, give a dog a bone? No, it's <laughs> Nick Knack Patty Whack. Do you not know that little nursery rhyme? I do, I just haven't heard it in a while. I tell you. Okay, and you know how I love to chain piece? So I'm just going to do all the one sides of my footballs. Okay. Ooh, Gwen wants to know why you sew barefoot. Oh, because then I can feel the pedal under my feet. You feel the pressure. Yeah, I can feel the pressure. Um, that way, I know I'm a quilter because I step on pins. Oh, <laughs> without my shoes on. I do not ever drive barefoot. That's against the law in the United States. It is? It is. Oh. It's okay. No, I just drive in my sewing room super fast. Okay. All right. So now I've added one side of our little rick rack and now I'm going to just do the other side real quick and I'm going to show you how to put it together and then talk about the process of the cover. Um, you want to make sure quilters that you buy insulated batting and you can get it at your local quilt shop. Um, why do you think, Christina, we have insulated batting? Probably to keep the warmth in. Yeah, we want it to stay hot. It's a hot dish, after all. <laughs> in the summertime, we'll do what's a cold dish you like to bring. Okay, what else are people making for us? Deb says she doesn't make casseroles, but she makes a Hershey chocolate cake with chocolate icing. Holy <laughs> smokes. Uh, Barbara says chicken Mexican casserole. That sounds delightful. That does sound so good. All these recipes just sound so good. A Reuben casserole from Joyce. Oh, Reuben casserole, yeah. Okay, so the next one is, um, so in the top five, there's that, and then mine, the, the potato casserole is one of the top five. One of them just blew my mind because I haven't had it since I was a kid. <laughs> Two of them, actually, okay? All right, so look what I did. So I just added my little Rick Rack to my footballs. Okay, and then very carefully, don't run with scissors. Okay, this is the only time I let you use scissors. Scissors and rotary cutters, they're dangerous. Okay, so look, I'm just trimming these down so I can add those half square triangles. Okay, all right, so I'm just gonna do one so you can see and then I'll show you how to lay it out. So, now look at this die, this is super cool. These are half square triangles. So what we did, quilters, was, okay, people ask me this all the time, how do you clean your dye? We have a dye pick, but a lint roller brush across the top. So here's our half square triangles, and right here, you can see we cut off the dog ears. Has nothing to do with puppies. Okay, cut them <laughs> off. So from this point here to this point here is a perfect quarter inch seam. So on all of our triangles and so many of our dyes, we have specialized dog ears so that you can lay your pieces down and know that they run together, okay? We have so, a great question from Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Uh, she wants to know if the casserole cozy holds a nine by thirteen pan. Yes. Yes. Yep. That's what it's made for. That standard yes. size. Yes. That standard size. Okay. So now look, I've added it to this side, and then I'm going to put one on the other side. Here's our little green grass on our football field. Unfortunately, we also have a go green mat. <laughs> it's a little hard to see things. Okay. So I'm just going to stitch these down real quick and show you how it looks. And then you want to press to the green side. Okay. Oh, Elizabeth says she makes leftovers into casseroles. 
Like what, Elizabeth? Now I'm intrigued. <laughs> Joanne okay. makes a chicken poppy seed casserole. Oh my gosh, that sounds delicious. We need to not ask food related questions. We, not, we don't, especially when it's like lunchtime. Noon, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that sounds delicious. Okay. All right, so I'm just doing this. So, again, you can just chain piece your date for days. Okay, I got in trouble the other day because you guys told me I, I pressed wrong, and I did. Um, I was pressing something, and I pressed to the uh, – when I was making the sewing machine mat, or the sewing machine mat, um, I pressed to the light side and everybody was like, wait, wait, I always thought you pressed to the dark side. Y yes, press to the dark side quilters. Use the force. Okay. All right. Here we go. Don't forget to share. We're giving away our six inch cube and our code today is scrappy25. Christina, how much is our go big? 450. And our ready, set, go? 375. So beautiful. And that cube that you're using is only 165. Oh, see, if you were looking for a cube. So the six, eight, and nine inch cubes, today only 165. This is, oh, by the way, this is a wool pressing mat and this is a clover shovel iron. Yes. Because we get that all the time. Okay, look, ta-da, footballs. <laughs> so cute. I know, I love them. And it's the right size rickrack, according to Mason. So. He it's knows. all good. He knows best. Apparently. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you do this. So what you need to do is um, you're going to take your footballs. Chelsea, are we good here or do you want me to hold it up? Okay. Okay, so you're going to take, um, you're going to follow the instructions because you need to cut a little strip here that's um, one and a half by three and a half inches. And then here's your football and then a three and a half by four and a half inch. I used my three and a half inch strip die. Subcut them into four and a half inches. Another football, okay, find that pattern. And then right here, these are one inch cut strips. Okay, so I use my one inch strip die. All right, so that, you would sew it together. Now the pieces here, um, you wanna follow the instructions because it's gonna tell you it's like um, a 14 and a half by 20 inch piece. All right, so you're gonna sew the whole thing together Make sure, because it goes over the edges, that the Huskers is in the right direction. Oh, that's something I would forget. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I hit three times. I was like, oh, make sure that's right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is the top. And then what you're going to do is here's that insulated batting. Okay. And all I did was, it, uh, the pattern tells you to do some quilting, but here's the thing. Don't get all wild and do quilting all over because it shrinks it, right? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, the more you, you, the more you do it, the, it shrinks it, okay? So I just did that. And then there's a template that you're gonna press, um, that you're gonna print it out. And here I have one here. It says casserole cover corner. Here's the short end and the long end. So basically you're gonna pin this template down here, mark it, and again with your scissors, cut it. Okay. There was a good question about that printout. Okay, um, talk to me. When you're printing it, do you fit it to the page or do you print it at 100%? I would bet 100%. Yes. That would make the most sense to me. Yes, I had to think about that, yes. <laughs> because really you're only gonna get one um, and you're gonna fold it in force and use it, you know, cut it four times. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you ready? So now look, this is the long side. This is the short side, I did it twice. So you're gonna fold, this is the, the underneath. Because I'm gonna show you how to put this together, it's super cute, okay? Okay, long side, short side. We forgot about a whole genre of casseroles, breakfast casseroles. Oh, we have. Tamara says that that's her favorite. Okay, Tamara, I'm, I'm kind of down with that. I love like an egg bake casserole yes. or like a cinnamon roll casserole. Yes. yes, okay. Top five before I start cutting. One of the top five, tuna casserole. Oh, no. We I don't do tuna. <laughs> okay, when I was a child, tuna casserole, like almost every week. Ooh. And my mom would like um, put like uh, crumbled up potato chips. Yeah, right? top. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm down so with that, crunchy. but not with the tuna. I don't do tuna. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
Clearly, I was a nightmare as a child. I didn't have the easiest way we to We did feed tuna. Me. Mason, that was like his favorite thing to eat as a really? kid. Really? Was tuna sandwiches, uh, yeah. We were not a big fish household. Oh. We, we did like potatoes, meat and potatoes. I grew stuff, up in Seattle, so Yeah, fish, that makes a lot more sense. Fish is there. When we went to Florida, we only ate seafood every day. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to just really carefully, so I don't cut my fingers, I followed the instructions. I read them twice before I cut. Right. Ooh, Scotty says that his favorite is cornbread casserole. Hi, Scotty. How's Winston? <laughs> Chelsea's nodding. <laughs> is it cornbread casserole? What is in cornbread casserole? Chelsea's here in the studio with us. What is cornbread casserole? Um, just corn. Just corn. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Does it have like jalapenos or something in it? Ooh. Oh, okay. Scotty, I feel like you should make some today. Okay, so look. Here's our little, here's the bottom. Okay, so we're quilters. We're going to put right sides together. And this is just like the Christmas stocking that we've been making. I mean, we've turned so many things inside out. We've our been doing a lot of projects lately. Strippy so baskets. Kind of doing that lately. Yep. Okay, so, and since Erica's out there testing dies, um, I'm going to do that. Okay. So I'm going to pin it on this side because it'll be easier for me. And if you're okay. missing a step, you can always come back and watch these videos. Yeah, they live always. here. They live here. Okay. Now, speaking of the lovely Erica, join us on February 2nd for our next live invitation event. Mm -hmm. So Wednesdays, um, AccuQuilt Live, you can just watch always on our Facebook page and our YouTube. Yep. Um, those Tuesday events on February 2nd, you need to register for. Why, Christina? Because you can win prizes that way. Prizes. We give away so we do a many prizes. Bunch of giveaways. Yeah. It's the best. Okay. So um, it's called Gifts from the Heart because Valentine's Day after Halloween, my favorite. So we're going to share ideas from Projects from the Heart. Use the link in the comment section to register, or you can scan the QR code. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do I'm going to pin here to here because as I sew this, I want to be able to stop and turn it inside out. And I'm gonna do it down here because holy smokes. Oh, Scotty just gave us a recipe. <laughs> Scotty, thank you. <laughs> Says it's got corn, creamed corn, sour cream, melted butter, and jiffy corn muffin mix. Oh, it sounds delicious. <laughs> like with chili. Yes. Oh, okay. It's 54 degrees gonna be today, I feel like. But this weekend it's gonna snow, so Is we can. It? Yes. I didn't know. Yes. I feel like the weather changes so quickly that I can't even keep up anymore. No, I know. I just kind of go day to day. Just kind of just live it. <laughs> just go, oh, okay. Okay, so you'll notice I pinned it. I pinned right sides together. Here's my um, insulation. So I'll, I'm going to start right here. Okay, and I'm going to do like a 3 eighths of an inch seam so that I don't miss anything. Okay, take your time. It's not the Indy 500. We're not going fast. Okay. All right, what else, Christina? Why so? Uh, Michelle says a red chili breakfast casserole. Oh my gosh, that's that sounds great. great. Um, that sounds Amanda great. Amanda in our customer service says French onion chicken casserole. See? Um, the next one of the top five is chicken tetrazzini. Okay. Or any kind of like chicken and noodle casserole. Okay. That makes sense. So, yeah, when I was a kid, chicken and noodles. A lot. We do, my mom always did this one where it was like craft deluxe mac and cheese and then taco meat. That sounds fancy. And then sour cream. That was delightful. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's not that fancy. It's just a squeeze tube of cheese I know. other than the powder. I love, <laughs> at our house, you can only have um, Velveeta shells and cheese. Oh, okay. You could do it with that. Yeah. I don't know. Our house is kind of weird, you know, because we only eat fresh cookies so <laughs> did those cookies finally get thrown out I, I was think so oh my gosh they were here they were here for days <laughs> okay all right don't forget to share quilters because we're giving away our six inch cube yes we're about to pick our winner so get your okay. share in. all right so I'm just going along here doing my thing. And I just want to finish this so you can see what it looks like. Because I'm going to tell you that you want to use your good 
iron to press it. I mean, my little shovel iron's great for little pieces on it, but absolutely. Okay. Ooh, Sherry make, or Cheryl, excuse me, makes cornbread casserole with cornbread with um, little smokies. And oh then my a gosh. And sprinkle of honey when it's done. There you go, Scotty. Add some little smokies to it. <laughs> uh, Chelsea wants to know if you cut that with a die, the piece that you're sewing now. No, we just cut a 14 and a half by 20 and a half inch. Whatever the pattern said, we just cut it out yeah, of fabric. There's a print out there for the pattern that'll show you how to cut that big piece. Yep. Read all the instructions, quilters, not just some of them. Okay. We did have a comment from Ann earlier that said she's the worst about reading the pattern all the way through. Oh, Ann, you gotta you gotta do that. It's super important. Okay. Ooh, Brenda makes a butterfinger fluff dessert casserole. Okay. Could be into that. I'm pretty sure I did not work out hard enough this morning to have Butterfinger fluff casserole <laughs> ever in my life. That sounds so good. I love Butterfingers. Okay. All right, so here we go. We're just keeping going. Don't forget to share our code today is Scrappy25. How much is our cube, Christina? 165. 165. And if you're looking to get that go big, go big or go home, it's... Truly. 400 and some change? $50. What? $450. Yep. Okay. I'm almost done. Look at us talking why we can do that. Okay. Don't forget to share. And the thing about this that I really like is that we're going to top stitch the top. Um, we aren't today, but you will when you make this. And so that makes it look nice and tidy. I'm all about nice and tidy things. Not my sewing room, but other things. <laughs> so Ray is off um, for the next few days. And holy smokes. Luckily, he told me. Um, he was thinking about, like, cleaning downstairs where I sew. I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> you have to wait for me to do that. OK. Oh, we do have a question. Do you need to wash the fabric before you start cutting? Okay, I'm going to tell you, quilters, I never pre-wash my fabric. Neither do I. Um, here's why. I feel like sometimes it's going to shrink, and then what are you going to do? You know? Yeah. So, for sure, I don't. Okay, now, right here in the corners, I'm just going to trim this down and clip these corners. Oh, there's another question. Um, Melissa wants to know, do you have to use footballs? For the motif. No, you can use soccer balls. Heck yeah, you can do anything. Yeah, you, you could applique little shapes on there for Easter. Something you could. Like that. You could. Pardon? Pick up truck. Pam's pickup truck. You could do hearts <laughs> for Valentine's Day. Yeah. All of those things. Absolutely. Gnomes. <laughs> gnomes for days. Gnomes and gnomes and gnomes. Okay. So now look how fun this is. Okay, so I'm just going to take in here, and I left a really good opening so that I could really get my fingers in here and push it all out. Okay. Teresa wants to know what kind of foot you're using on the sewing machine. Oh, I was like, my bare feet. Um, <laughs> the walking foot, right? If that's engaged on the back? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, the reason I use a walking foot is because this is kind of thick with the um, insulation. And so if you have a walking foot, then it grabs all the fabric equally. Yeah. <gasps> Look at this, it works. Christina, I love it when it works. <laughs> Especially when we're live. <laughs> Especially when we're live. Um, Karen says she's a newbie and wants to know which cutter's best. Okay, Karen, go big or go home. Get a go big electric. Because really, you, it's so much faster. Especially today when it's on sale. Yeah, today when it's on sale. <gasps> Look at this. So cute. It is super cute. Okay, I have a person I'm going to give this to. I'm really excited Aww. about it. Because um, it's football. Okay, so now here's what you do. Okay, before I finish, I'm going to tell you about our blog. Do you know we have a blog? 
Christina, I worked here for a long time before I realized we had a blog. Oh, no. No, it's okay. <laughs> now I read it all the time. It's a place to find inspiration, tutorials, patterns, sewing tips, more ways to use and love our product. You can meet our go-getters. What's a go-getter besides you and me? <laughs> They're our influencers. So they write patterns for us. They write tutorials. They talk about our products. They're yeah. kind of our super fans. Yeah, they're super fans, and they're great. And you get to meet our team behind our brand and join in the conversations we're having in our community right now. Okay, so watch. There are links in the comments, right, for the blog? Yes. Okay, don't forget to join us. February 2nd, the lovely Eric and I will be here, along with Lynn Gibney, to do our live invitation event. Tuesday's events you need to register for. Wednesday's events, you can just come hang out with us on Facebook or YouTube. Yep, they're a okay. little less formal, just a little more hanging yeah. out. I know the last live we had, we wore tiaras. We it did. was lovely. It was very um, fancy. The event is called Gifts from the Heart. We're going to share ideas for making projects from the heart. Um, you can use the link in the comment section to register or scan the QR code and it'll take you right to the registration page. So don't forget to join us. All right, so let's finish up our little top here. All right, so remember I clipped around the little curves. I turned it inside out, okay? And then here I'm going to talk about how to finish it. Um, we have top stitched around this. And I'm going to tell you to press this one out with your big iron, not your cute little shovel iron. Press it out and then top stitch around it, okay? You really want to make sure you do that because then it's going to lay flat. Mm -hmm. And this one has snaps. Now, Christina, why do you want to have a cover that's top, that snaps? So that it stays all sealed and it doesn't blow away. Yeah, because here in Nebraska, the wind blows. But it also keeps things um, warm. Now, we use snaps, but you could totally use Velcro. Yeah. You could put buttons on it. Oh, I bet there are football buttons. I bet so. I bet you're right. Oh, that'd be super cute, OK? And then that's how you would finish it out. So if it's a 9 by 13 casserole dish, this is our casserole cozy. Don't forget if you forgot, if you thinking, oh, Pam, what did you say? Um, all of our videos live on our uh, Facebook page. Yes. So you can go back and watch. Today only take 25% off our go cutters, dies, and cubes. You're going to use that code SCRAPPY25. All right? Now, then, again, just finish it up. Make sure you're... Um, adding those snaps or adding Velcro, Velcro or adding buttons. This would be a really fun gift. Now, here's something you should also be making while you're making casserole cozies. There's a die for this, for our bowl cozies. So look at how cute these are. They match mm -hmm. our little um, casserole cozy. So quilters, maybe you're having a big Super Bowl party. Yes. Right? You could make some of these bowl cozies and send them home as gifts. Oh, that would be so cute. Right? So get your whatever's in your casserole. Um, in honor of Scotty, we're going to have our corn casserole. And then you can put it in a bowl, and then you have it right here. OK? Oh, yes. That would be perfect. Yeah. You need to go big, OK, to have our, our um, bowl cozy yes. die. And you need a 14 by 16 cutting mat. So if you have the go big, you can make bowl cozies for days. And the go big's on sale. It is. So you can How get much? it and make bowl cozies. You could. It's so great. Okay? Our code, Scrappy25, take 25% off. Go cutters, dies, and cubes. And I love this idea about just, turn, you know, give them as little gifts. Yeah, that would also be a really beautiful, like, housewarming present or something. Like at your house. Yes. Yes. Is that for me? Did you make it for me? No, but we could. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you a Valentine one. Oh, thank you. I love that. Okay? <laughs> All right. Leslie and Morgan are picking a winner, and Christina's going to announce that yep. winner. You Got ready? ready? Drum roll, please. All right. It is Teresa Phillips. Teresa Phillips, congratulations. <laughs> Christina is going to reach out to you, and she's going to give you a brand new six-inch cube. Now, be sure you make some projects and show them to us, okay? Okay, now listen, quilters, we want to see your casserole cozies along with your recipes. Okay, what are you going to put in your cozies? Next week, I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere. I went. I went to Florida. I had a great time. Um, next week, we're going to get ready for the Super Bowl Sunday by making pennants for our teens. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have this great pennant die. Yes. It's super cute. I'm going to show you some ways to make pennants, but I'm also going to show you some other things you can do with that pennant die. 
wink, wink, okay? You don't have to just make them for Super Bowl Sunday. Because I feel like most women um, sew on Super Bowl Sunday. I think so, too. Yeah. A lot of them do. Are you going to sew on Super Bowl no, Sunday? No, I watch it. Yeah? Yeah. I usually go for the food. I was going to say, I go for the food. Yep. That's why you should go. <laughs> all right. All right. Listen, on behalf of all of us here in the Dream Studio, we have Mike and Chelsea and Chelsea C, and we have Justin for a couple more weeks. Uh, new to our team is Joe. Joe, how'd you do it today? Did you like it? Thumbs up? He'll, he'll come back next week? Excellent. <laughs> My good friend, Christina. Offside, we have Leslie and Morgan and Marissa and... Katie. And Nick and Katie. I know, I always forget one of them. Um, on behalf of our entire live team, we'd like to thank you for joining us today. I'm Pam Heller reminding you that at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. We'll see you next week, 12 noon Central Time.